Hey YouTube and welcome back to another video tutorial from your boy Hunter. Now today I'm gonna be teaching you how to well use this rig. Now this took me a while to fix and figure out so this is the second time I'm recording this because I had a lot of lags and yeah I don't even want to talk about it. So I can move this around and for some reason this is not parented. So if you look at this, I'm gonna shift this because it is selected. I'm gonna parent this to this. Control P and vertex. So it's parenting this to a vertex inside of this mesh. So don't worry about the rotations. It's we're gonna be worrying about this. Okay, so when I hit play, you'll see I can look up and down and I can go left and right, but you can see these rotations are completely buggered out, fucked up. <laughs> okay, so let's fix that first. If it's gonna allow me to go out of the game engine. Like I said, well, after that last video, you know when we had that huge power search, I think something in my computer got damaged, maybe my RAM or something, I don't know. I don't I didn't even check if all of my RAM sticks are working. And that might be the problem. Okay, so when I rotate this up and down, it should work, I'll see. So it's not supposed to rotate on the Z axis. And you can see it's not supposed to rotate on the z-axis so the first thing I'm gonna do with this empty this one I'm gonna go to its properties right here and where you see location rotation I'm gonna lock the Y and the X so when I rotate, it will only rotate on, well, I don't want to do the X, I want to do the Z. So I can only rotate it on that axis. But now when I rotate this, you will see it's going to start bugging out like that. And I think it's because of this. Yes, it's because of this empty right here. So instead of, you know, parenting this completely, you know, to this I'm gonna go ahead and control P and vertex so now I can rotate this as much as I want to it's not gonna affect that Hold R. but in the game engine I can still look around and look up and down just like that okay so let me show you exactly how this works Now I don't have any child of constraints for the ants on the gun, that's just, you know, placed like that. Come on. Alright, let me show you. This is the armature. And apparently every time I click on something, my whole fucking window freezes. Okay, so that's the armature. If I go control tab, you can see I've got this gun bone. I've got this bone that controls the slide. And I've got this bone that controls the magazine. Okay, so I can actually do this now. And you will see everything bugs out until I press the Z again. So, we can do this you know, uh, reload animation. But we're gonna have to move these separately. Okay. So, the IK, that's something else. I think I showed this in the previous video, how this works. So I'm not gonna bother explaining that. If you didn't watch the previous video, go and watch it so you know how this rig works. I didn't have any special constraints or special bone shapes for this one 
you can just go ahead and do it yourself. This is just for demonstration purposes. Alright, so this armature is parented to this, but it's parented to the vertex. So no, actually it's not parented to the vertex, it's just parented to this mesh. So I just parented this to this mesh and that's it. So it rotates correctly. This is parented to this. Well, it's not parented to this, but I think this is parented to the. I think it's parented to this. Yeah, parented to this. Okay. So there's one problem with the crouching. If I wanted to crouch. I'm gonna show you if it's gonna allow me to, you know, like I said, I've, I'm getting a lot of legs for some reason. Okay, when I press S, you will see everything just scales. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have some animations for these so we can counteract the scale just for this one. Because this is the one that's actually not supposed to be scaling. Actually, this is not supposed to be scaling as well. And I think with this I can go to the relations. Let's see if I can do that. Hmm, where was it? Yeah, oh, strange. Okay, maybe I can parent it to this. I'll see clear parent, keep information, select this one, control B and object. So when I scroll this down, yeah, that works. So when that rotates, hey, when this rotates, it should rotate along with it. Okay, so that works. That that that's one of the problems solved. Okay. This has a trap to constraints. There's always edit object, trap to, and it's on the negative Y. So it's tracking to this object right there. So you can just go ahead and do this. And you will see this uh, thing I called object track. So track one. So when I'm in the game engine, it tracks to that. Well, this is rotating. So if I hit play. Let's see if it works. Yes. Perfect. Now I don't have any animations on this just yet. We are going to be doing that in a moment. I just wanted to show you exactly how this armature works and how you should set it up. Okay, for the up and down. If it's gonna allow me. Bloody fly. This is controlling that. Okay, I showed you how to lock that. But, what's happening on the armature? Control tab. This one has a copy location for this bone, well, this object right there. So, in my constraints tab, you can see I've got a copy location and I just got it on world space all the way around. This one has a copy rotation. And actually, I don't need it on the Z or the Y, only on the X. So, it's got replace, world space, local space. So when I rotate this, this is what happens. Okay. So let's start doing some animations. The camera, there's another thing. I got this set inside of the head. And that's basically what you're gonna see, be seeing with the camera.
basically what you're going to be seeing with the camera okay so we are going to have to maybe just have into edit mode and i'm going to show you how to move these around first you select this bone this is the gun bone now this is parented to empty groups on the gun bone so if i show you this you can see this has a main as for assault rifle this is going to be a slide for assault rifle slide and this is gonna be a s mag for obviously assault rifle mag then I've got empty groups on this guy so I just parented the empty groups but before I did that I implemented the empty groups on this so yeah by well on this triangular shape key tab okay so I'm getting freezes anybody have any idea how to fix this lag it would be greatly appreciated so I'm gonna go AS so you got AS main, AS mag and AS slide you're gonna have these in your well for this I actually can just remove these uh, delete all unlocked well, because I don't need the rest of the groups anyway so now you can see what I'm what I mean so I've got the main assault rifle, the assault, assault rifle mag, and the assault rifle slide. Then I just control P and with empty groups. So control P with empty groups. So you select the model, you select the armature, control P. It's going to show with empty groups. I don't need to do that because I already have this parented. So. Whoops, control tab. So that's what I, what's happening. That's how this is being controlled. Now how that how this works is with empty groups you are going to have to edit your well going to edit mode for your model. Now for the mag and the let's say the slide You're gonna, you're gonna see I've got these separate so I can control I so make sure the main body the main body you assign that to the empty group so when you have slide or main whatever you're gonna assign that to the empty group so when it's parented otherwise it's never gonna work now it's getting out of edit mode Okay. So let's start it. Let's start making some animations. So I think the first animation I want is maybe just a fire animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my dope sheet. Well, before I go to my dope sheet, I'm gonna go ahead to my timeline. For my king, I'm gonna set this to location and rotation. I don't need the scale. Never use the scale. I'm not going to use the scale. Then I'm going to go to my dope sheet. I'm going to add, well, go to my action editor in my dope sheet. So select this button and action editor. Then I'm going to select this bone, this bone, and this bone. That's very important. Okay. So making sure I'm in, on frame zero, I'm gonna insert that. Now, in my timeline, I wanna tick this button, so it's gonna record everything I do. So back to my dope sheet. So let's say we want a firing animation of. Let me just see if I've got this on 60 frames per second or not. No, it's on 24 frames. So make sure I use 60 frames. You can use whatever you want, but I'm going to use 60 frames per second. So I'm going to set this to frame 1 instead of frame 0. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to frame 3. Move these back. Okay, and just make sure you got these on global.
and then just duplicate this should be okay come on man <laughs> I think one of my RAM sticks are busted you went to have got 18 gig of RAM eh? Okay, so that's frame 5, so now you got something like this. Now, this does not look realistic. So I've got this bone right here. This one. So I can actually just do this. So, insert on frame 1. When it pulls back on frame 3. I'm going to push back on these, so... So just a little bit and then give it a slight rotation then just duplicate this frame to frame 5 there you go so you got a firing animation so I'm gonna call this <coughs> Uh, maybe Arma Fire And I've got my caps lock on again and Then I'm gonna push down on the animation Now I'm gonna do the reload animation and there is this is what we're gonna be looking at So we're gonna go into the camera view for this because otherwise it's gonna look pretty weird when you actually do this so select this select this and select this so go in and just insert that and I'm gonna call this uh, armor reload okay so now I'm gonna go to frame 15 maybe or Z and just rotate it like this maybe and let's see if we can get a proper rotation for this something like that so brings it up on frame 25 we're gonna move it down a little bit well not down maybe a bit forward just so there's always motion so on frame 35 this is where the mag is gonna come out so I'm just gonna push it down a little bit then I'm just gonna give it some random rate movement again so this is where he reaches for the mag frame 55 brings the mag up frame 65 he actually puts the mag in so this is where we're gonna go insert and then GZ and then select this one and shift D again so this one that's not moving in around yeah and then on frame 80 I'm gonna rotate it downwards RZ come on now that end is fucking around Okay, now I'm gonna have to go out of this um, camera view for now. So that I can see where my reload is. Well, not my reload. So now we've got something like this. 
Now obviously we're gonna have to do a lot more, but this is just a base animation, so I'm blocking out the animation. And then I'm just gonna bring this back, Shift D, and bring it back to frame 100. <coughs> okay, so now it's for the rest of the animation. So, first it comes up, where it comes up, this end is already coming down. And also the fingers I'm gonna press Alt R Rotate this up a little bit Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this for both of the, um, just to make sure they stay in place. And also the fingers, they don't have any proper rotation, so. I'm gonna have to rotate them back, but let's just make sure I'm in local for this. There it grabs back, so now it comes out. That reaches for the mag if it's gonna allow me to. There we go. Just trying to get this lined up properly.
which is why I said after original. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like that. Okay, so this hand is supposed to be following that. Oh, uh, I get it.
Okay, so let's check it out. Now another thing what I'm gonna do just to get my animation to play a bit more smoother. I'm gonna go to the timeline, I'm going to go to playback, play every frame, I'm gonna do frame dumping. Now it looks like it's moving really fast. Okay, so now we're gonna have to move this up a bit. <coughs> Let's try 200 frames. Hmm, maybe 300 frames. Okay. So when this happens, I actually want this to move up a little bit. Okay, so that looks good, but for some reason, for some reason, my camera does not. You see this clipping right about there. Actually, does look like it's clipping. Right there, you can see the clipping right there. So the clip start, I'm gonna have to play with a bit. So with my camera, you can see I've got a clip start, clip the end. Somewhere around there should be good. <clears throat> and now I can still see something on the inside of the helmet. That's a little better.
I think I got the camera apparently today. Yes, I did. Why does it look like it's got motion blur? No motion blur. Okay. So now we got the animation for reload. And making sure I don't have anything on the camera because I don't need animations on the camera because I think I moved it and it copied the animation. No. No, I don't. I'm going to turn this off now. So for this animation on the armature, I'm going to call it reload. I will actually call it reload. I'm just going to push down on the animation. So back to action editor. Right there, armor reload. Push down on animation. Okay. So the walking up and down, I'm actually going to do it with this. And with the armature as well so with the walking animation I think I'm gonna go about maybe 50 frames I mean this is for walking after all so I'm gonna push down on that go to 50 frames insert that again and then GZ a little bit And it didn't. Oh, yeah, I didn't do the. So, insert that. Again, if you don't want to see the rest of the animations playing, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna, gonna have to go to your non, -learn, non linear animations. Non linear. That's hard to pronounce. Okay, so camera, we don't even need anything. I'm not going to push down on this animation just yet. This reload. I'm going to bring it back. Then I'm going to turn it off. Turn this one off. Now I can just see this. Okay. But before I do this, I just want to make sure the... Okay, so everything goes to the keepers after that. Just want to make sure everything is properly in place because. Oh, come on, now it's just freezing again. Just want to make sure this is properly in place. And it is not. So I can edit this animation. So control tab. Just for this hand, just bring it up. Pop it back into place where it's supposed to be. Getting the rotations correct. Okay. Let's just go to the timeline or the dope sheet. And frame one, I'm gonna hit A. Just select everything on frame one. I'm going to shift D and just bring this all the way up to frame 250 and just override that frame.
Okay, so saying that this is fine now. Go back to the non-linear and just press tab on this. And make sure this is not enabled. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is to get this walking animation for the armature now because we already have it for this. So, control tab. Just want to show you. Control tab. And I'm going to go back into my dope sheet. Before I do this timeline, control tab on this. And I only need, and these are not rotated correctly for some unknown reason. So that doesn't um, properly in place as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna need this. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need this. Going into this view now, where it goes down. I'm gonna just duplicate this on to frame 50. On frame 30, I'm just gonna rotate it down a little bit, or maybe just rotate it on the Z axis first. Then R, Y, Y. Now R, X, X. Okay, so something is wrong with that end.
I don't know why there's any people messing around. Don't have any constraints, so it's not supposed to do that. <coughs> Just don't do the fucking thing. This lead is gonna get on my nerves. Okay, so this is where I'm probably gonna stop the video. So that I can check my PC for any bugs, check my RAM, check what's wrong. And then on the next video we're actually gonna put this into the game engine. So we're gonna make a bit more of a running animation and then adding the bullets and making him shoot so the running animation we are gonna actually do it with the legs and for this video it's already too long especially with the legs and stuff so i'm gonna say thanks for watching guys if you like the video give it a like if you didn't like it just like it if you learned something something from this be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will always be in the loop for when the next video comes out Remember, this is going to be a full body first person shooter game, so I'm gonna give you everything that's on this. No, I'm gonna just give this away. The whole rig, the animations, everything, so you can just use it for yourself. That's it. So, thanks for watching again, and you guys should have a wonderful day. Well, for me, it's evening. <laughs>